It's a free day in Sochi Arboretum called Dendrari. See how many people show you a little and tell you a little of the history because it's a historical landscape park. Arboretum was founded in 1889. Here it says in 1892, 1889. By his name is Sergei Khudikov. He was actually a famous collectioner, a daring gardener, a lover of different types of plants. So basically, he founded all all this gorgeousness here. Also, he was an editor of some famous St. Petersburg newspaper, which is not published anymore, so I doubt that I can name that. <laughs> he was originally, he was a military person and uh, just a talented man in many things. He loved ballet, he wrote, he was a writer, he wrote some books about his, the history of ballet. In the park there are 24 types of palm trees. How many we can see? One. Two, but you see this type all around the city. Three. I guess it's a different one. Peacocks, ostriches, cypresses, a, a bamboo forest. Bamboo forests are really exciting. Bamboo seems to be endemic. It's subtropical climate here. Anything subtropical feels quite comfortable. Yo, so exciting. Oh, so cool. And it's, it's just crazy. Imagine. Wonderful canopy. Number four, and uh, I guess that's number five. Oh no, it's the first type, isn't it? I don't know, I think so. Some enormous grass. I think just uh, somebody does not look after these palm trees, that's why they look like this. While they have to be all cleaned, you know? See, this gorgeousness is number five. Oh, I love the, that type. You know, these are this short ones short ones with uh, this abundant crown is this the same as the first one the same or different oh it's the same <laughs> this is number six i guess mm -hmm. number seven if you compare this one and that one for example look at the uh, leaves they are different here they are prolonged and uh, here they are this palm shaped number eight so there are about 76 types of different pine trees but uh, i'm not really into pine trees <laughs> i'm more in into palm trees so but uh, and you'll get tired you're just counting them <laughs> oh th this is number nine but i uh, i think it, they are because they are a little bit thicker than the previous ones that we have seen, the tall ones. Uh, but this type uh, is better presented in the city, because in the city, around the city, because here obviously nobody looks after them, but in the city th there is a group of people who uh, look after them, so they, they look much, much better, much healthier. Yeah, it's actually if you just if you want to make this climb very quickly, it's quite a difficult climb. So you have to like take take it at a steady uh, pace. And uh, also there is a cable car, but uh, today it's not functioning. And uh, yeah, and uh, they say actually that it's the best way to take a, a cable car up the mountain, and then uh, so right there, and then just uh, uh, walk uh, down. Um, along the path. Oh, it's so busy today. See, is it, uh, is it number 10 or it's the same as... Oh, yeah, I believe it's number 10 because, see, it's a different one. The trunk is a thin one. 
This is some of the later edit Soviet um, heritage, such a viewpoint. Number 11. And this is my absolute favorite of palm trees. Number 12. It's a fairy tale fountain representing Russian fairy tales. And also, I really like cypresses. Look, that type of cypresses you see over there. And this actually is also some sort of a cypress. And it looks really cool. Such a wonderful tree. And that's a villa named Villa Nadezhda, <coughs> after the wife of the founder of this mm, wonderful garden, uh, Hudikov. Maybe 13, but I lost count of those. A typical southern style, this light veranda. Hudikov obviously was a rich person. Imagine living in a mansion like this with uh, a garden of, I don't remember, 25 hectares or, so, or something about that. It was at the time when he founded it. With, uh, at his time it was 220 different types of plants and uh, later in the Soviet times another 330 types of plants were added. And uh, this the entire mansion was nationalized um, after the October Soviet October Revolution of 1917. It was nationalized in 1921. Uh, just uh, the person uh, lost <laughs> the entire mansion that he, he worked for. That's that's the life at that at that time. It's just crazy. Look at it. Now you can see it uh, on a tour if you come which it's right in the in the city center of sochi it's uh, also a very popular place uh, easy to find uh, named dendrari a former mansion of a talented person a writer and a collectioner sergey hudikov Nadezhda, named after his wife Fifteen. This one obviously comes from Chile, <laughs> South America. This one comes from the Canary Islands. Bahamas. I prefer what's called the lower part, though. Uh, you just you just cross uh, Kurortny Prospect. The lower park is the other part of the park, right there. Where do you cross? Here. And what I particularly like is a very cool bamboo grove. It's really super cool. And you feel like in a bamboo forest, natural forest. See, here. So cool. <laughs> so cool. Man, it's just crazy. No? See? Like. Is it cockerels or what? <laughs> On the tree. So what? Wait. They look like cockerels. What? It's, it's something else. What's that? <laughs> oh man, what? Oh, 
<clears throat> I just missed some Asia. some chicken in a sweet and sour sauce and uh, some greens and mushrooms if I remember correctly mm, yum <laughs> well, it's been a million years since I traveled last time it's been uh, around uh, two or three years and I moved to Sochi one year ago, so I'm basically living by the sea now. <laughs> 